Day 2, Colony 2. Time for another one of my colonies to showcase this week. So if you haven't seen Day 1, Colony 1, go back and watch that. I'll put a link at the top. But let's get ready to have a look at Colony 2, which is my green-headed ants. A favourite of many of you. So let's get started. Righto, so these guys had a bit of an upgrade not that long ago. So the green-headed ants, Queen Night Dust, has named by my daughter. Interesting name. Retardo Panero Metallica. So this is just a bit of an overview, just to have a look through their outworld and show them what that's what you that's all about, what they've been doing out here. Now, a little while ago, uh, probably a month or a couple of months ago now, I actually did a upgrade for these guys. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, go back and have a look at those as well. Um, really interesting. So they had a new Waitong nest that was custom built for them. And then I had an outworld here as well. Now the outworld looked completely different. Uh, the video, these guys have gone crazy. You can see that they've just been digging like crazy in the outworld here, making plenty of changes. These green-headed ants always seem to be really busy, always doing something. Um, fascinating to watch, and the colony is quite large now. Um, several hundred workers, I would say, um, probably three, four hundred workers in total in this colony, which is really nice. It's good to get a colony this big. If you haven't seen them uh, before in the previous videos as well, you'll know that they actually had some elates, so some male drones um, were produced, and there's still a few of these. So stay tuned, we're going to have a closer look inside the nest at them, and you'll be able to see the uh, male elates then as well, so you can see what they look like. But this has been a bit of a favourite. Um, many people um, love this colony, and I've had many different requests for the name naming off the actual colony as well. We've got the queen already in night dust, but still looking for a name for the actual colony. Now there were quite a few suggestions given a little while back, and I think I've come up with one. And where, well, yeah, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna call these the green berets. Um, the reason are, they're pretty aggressive and they love to sting you. So it'll be night dust and the green beret. So thanks very much for suggesting that name. And um, yeah, I'll have to uh, let you know in the, uh, the comments who that was. So thank you. So what do you think of that name, guys? You happy with that? Green Berets, they're known to obviously um, be quite feisty, um, good at fighting. And these green-headed ants are very similar. Um, they sting. It's quite a painful sting if you don't know these ants or you're not accustomed to them. Perhaps you're overseas watching. So we'll go with that one. Excellent, so that's the just a shot of the outworld. Now we'll have a little bit of a closer look at the nest and see what's going on in there. So this is the custom built Waitong nest that I got from Coltrane. He built this one for me, just a bit of red film over the top as well. So beautiful nest, really well finished. Um, as you would have seen it completely in the last video on these guys, but they love it. Um, what they really do like about it is they seem to hang off the walls. Um, these green-headed ants are not very good climbers at all on smooth surfaces. But on Waitong here, they can actually hang off the side walls, which is really good. So it actually increases the nest size. You can see there's plenty of them in here, plenty of brood going on, and they're very busy in here. So this will give them enough space for quite some time. There's plenty of the workers out in the outworld as well which is really nice and good to see, but there's still plenty of room here in the actual nest itself. So what do you guys think of this custom built nest? It's quite nice, isn't it? Here we can see the big pile of brood, plenty of eggs and larvae there. Only a couple of cocoons though, at the moment in this colony, most of them have hatched. But as you can see, the brood's looking healthy, being tended to here by the workers. And you can see there a couple of the elates, just at the top right hand corner there couple with their wings. So they're the males. Elates, I didn't see any queens um, actually produced in this round. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future with them. But this colony is going really well. Looks like they're getting a little bit stir stirred up by me uh, watching them. They want to pour outside the nest as well just to see what's going on. But you saw there one of their cocoons but let's get a little bit closer up. Okay, so here's a bit of a closer look at the brood. 
You can see one of the elates there just walking out. Plenty of eggs though and brood size, which means there's going to be another nice population explosion fairly soon. It is heading into winter here in Australia at the moment, um, so most ant species do slow down. There's not actually much hibernation that goes on um, with many of the species here because it is still warm. It doesn't actually get that cold here in Australia during winter. Um, and as we look around at these workers, you can see them there hanging off the side walls quite well. So we'll have a little bit of a look around. There's one of those male elates there. They don't really serve too much of a purpose. Um, they're not interested in flying away, which I thought they might be, but not at all. So generally during nuptial flights, pheromones are released into the air by the ants, and then they will release their queens and their males and they'll go off and breed and start new colonies. But at the moment, these guys aren't flying, but the male elates have just stayed behind in the nest and are just being tended to by the workers here. They don't seem to do any actual work themselves. Um, and they're probably a little bit of a burden to the colony in some ways, because obviously they need to eat and drink. But there's plenty um, of food and water available for these guys, so that's not an issue. Beautiful colouring on these too, isn't there? That nice, where they get their name from, that metallic, metallic y, greeny blue colour, which is really nice. Now, I have thought about actually doing a bit of a change to the outworld for these guys um, in some ways because they made such a mess of it digging, but then that's fairly natural as well. So, what do you guys think? Do you think I should make them a new outworld or should I leave it how they are? I was thinking perhaps of leaving it over winter just so they're settled. Um, but yeah, what do you think of the setup? Do you like the Waitong nest that was made by Coltrane? Do you like the outworld? Would you like to see something different with this colony? I'd love to hear your, hear your feedback, guys, on what you think here as well. A fascinating species of ants and very well known here in Australia. Stung These ants have stung many people during their picnics. So this is Colony 2, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini update and day two of the series and there's plenty more to come another five colonies to have a look at so if you've come far this far through on the video guys i'd really love you to like the video and uh, give it give it that thumbs up let's everyone know that the video is worth watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i really appreciate your support guys means the world to me so thanks guys and remember happy ant keeping